everybody and welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been a minute that's another story for another video but i'm back and i'm here to bring you a video about love yes it is the love season valentine's day is around the corner and um i'm single but it's okay because i'm overqualified but i want to give you five do's and don'ts on how to be single ladies and gentlemen yes yeah, so you know if you're in a relationship you can stick around and watch my video but if you're single pay attention because your girl got some tips for y'all all right if you sat through my whole video and you like my video please guys please 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 please, please subscribe like my video turn on the notification button because I will be posting more content this year and share guys you know I'm trying to get this this YouTube gig going so so let's get into the video tip number one write in the journal you know write down your thoughts in a journal or keep a diary yes I'm 23 and I still have a diary because you do not want to keep your thoughts bottled up to yourself you know or even get help seek help because you may want to say something to your significant other or even a friend at the time but you would think to yourself maybe if i say this maybe he'll like me more but what you're thinking and if you would have said that out loud maybe something else would have happened so you have your options when you when you think of something before you speak because when you think before you speak that helps out a lot see with me i'm just speaking because listen whatever comes out of my head it's like 10 people in my head and i don't know who will come out first so whoever come out first that's what gonna come out of my mouth but going back home or going back to my quiet time and i'm writing down my thoughts and i'm figuring out okay well, maybe I should have said this instead of saying that. Then that probably would have helped out a lot. <laughs> writing down your thoughts or writing in a journal actually helps you grow. Because maybe you wrote something down a year ago that you reflect on now. And you're like, wow. Like, I was really immature about what I really would have said back then. And now I've grown up, you know. I've learned how to think before I speak or think before I even make the actions that I made. Number two, take care of yourself, sweetie, okay? Everything is gonna be all right. I understand you don't feel pretty right now, but put on a pretty dress, put on some makeup. You will feel beautiful on the inside and outside. Yeah, we tend to let ourselves go when we're single, some of us. And those people tend to, you know, make themselves not feel as pretty as when they were in a relationship or if somebody told them oh i look pretty or you look pretty and and some singles may even feel like when they're single they're not pretty listen you are beautiful on the inside and outside no matter what nobody say it all, de it all depends on what you think of yourself and how confident you are so baby get on up okay hold your head up high you are a beautiful queen okay and to continue on to taking care of ourselves tip number three exercise yes everybody always say when you're single you have all the time in the world to exercise uh no because i do not hit the gym myself but exercising and yoga actually helps to meditate and you also look good when you're done and it also releases a little bit say when you exercise you're releasing a lot of sadness and you're releasing a lot of stress so tip number four join a dating app yes i know that may sound like 21st century dating but some dating apps actually work and there are plenty of dating apps you have tinder you have plenty of fish you have bumble you even got christian mingle okay there is somebody out there looking for someone special. And hey, if you ever get a match, somebody is looking at you. Somebody is, you know, giving you that attention. And they apps give you that kind of attention. And if you want that kind of attention, then try dating apps. <laughs> Tip number five, I'm just throwing this one in there because it's my favorite, eat. There is nothing wrong with eating a lot of food. 
Listen, if you're at home by yourself at night, cook you a three course dinner meal, okay? And some dessert. Nobody is watching you and nobody is stopping you. Treat yourself to a king and queen's meal. I would sit and eat all day if I could. Even if I'm 10 pounds, I would eat. Yeah, they say eating is, you know, kind of like fat, but it's kind of a good stress reliever as well. So, girl, get you something to eat. Boy, get you something to eat. Now okay. that I have given you five do's on how to be single, here are five don'ts on how to be single. Number one, do not hook up with random people. Yes, you might see a little tenderoni walking on by or see a little fine honey walking on by. Just because they're cute, do not hook up with them. Yes, you can start a friendship with someone. But hooking up with someone or having a one night stand with someone can cause major damage to And maybe that random person might give you the best feelings in the world or they don't seem like your ex. They treated you wrong. Something still might end up going bad with you. So don't hook up with strangers. It's not okay. Stranger danger. Number two, do not abuse drinking or any type of drugs to numb your pain. Yes, I understand people love to smoke and I understand people love to drink. But to get over your sadness and to get over a relationship, I think drinking and drugs is not a good idea because you're numb. Yeah, you're numb for a good few hours. But when that numbness goes away, baby, you are back to reality and you will face your reality when that numbness is gone. Okay, but hey, if you like to get you a few drinks in and if you like to get you a few puff, puff gives in, then... Do you, boo? <laughs> number three. Now, number three may seem hard, and it's reflecting back on the good times that you had with an ex or an ex-friend. Um, I have that issue a lot because I've had many good friendships and many good relationships, if I even want to call them that. But um, I usually think about the good times and when I'm sad and when I'm lonely, especially at night. From the hours of 12 a.m. to 3 a.m., that's all I would think about. Like, oh, I wish I was back with so-and-so doing this and that. No, that actually makes you even more sadder. Do not reflect back on the good times. What you need to do is think of your future. Think of who you're going to be with in the, in the future. Because your future is going to be better than your past. And them good times in the past ain't even going to even be as better than the ones that are going to be in your future. Okay? Okay? Number four, mutual spaces. Now, um, some of you may have been in relationships where you always went out to eat somewhere, your favorite restaurant, or went to your favorite club. When you guys are single now, or if you are single and you go to a spot that you and your friend or your ex went to a lot, don't make that place feel like a place where you don't belong or where you won't feel as good as when you went with your friend or your significant other. Keep going other. back to that place, okay? Make that your own space. Make that your space where you feel comfortable. Don't ever go to the Walmart that you and your ex went to. I'm like, dang, I went down this aisle with my ex and we always get the same lotion. No boo, go down that aisle, get you a different lotion and you smell good, okay? Smell good. And last but not least, number five. And I know y'all gonna hate me for this, but number five is stay off social media when you are single or when you are newly single, like fresh out of relationship. Listen, I know some girls and some guys that went, went through and back and put all their business out on Facebook, on Instagram, on Snapchat. Like, we don't want to know why you single, how you became single, why he left you or why you left him. Listen, baby, move on. The world does not want to see that. And also, don't, don't, don't put yourself out there on social media so somebody can come grab you or somebody can get your attention. Oh, yeah, I'm single now. Ready to ringo. Where y'all at? Don't do that. Be patient. It takes time to grow and to heal. Trust me, I Also, know. you might get on social media and see your ex has moved on five days after y'all done broke up. And that, that might bring 
some sadness and some anger into you and you don't want that. So stay off of it, sweetie. Social media be there when you're feeling good, when you glow up. That's when you post your stuff. That's when you post your stuff. It's when you glow up and when you moved on, when you find something better to post your pictures with, to post your post about. Okay. Well, guys, that is all I have for you today. I just want to say thank you. If you stuck around and watched this video, like it, share it, subscribe to my channel, turn the notification button on because Glow Michelle is here to stay. If you like these type of talk videos, let me know so I can do some more. You know, we can talk about you know anything y'all want to talk about just let me know i'll put my instagram and my snapchat in the description box and thank you for watching bye